Uh, hi guys, welcome to what I'd call more a build diary than a build guide regarding my strength scaling sword build, the new iteration of it. I've done some testing and I figured out that it's not required to actually go for 50 plus strength on a sword build but you can rather scale a bit more into constitution to improve your defenses. If you've seen the videos where I compare three different builds, which is one build with 53 constitution, one with 35, one with 25, you'll know roughly how they compare. Like a 53 constitution build took two and a half minutes to do the peak fight, whereas a like this current iteration takes roughly two minutes. It's not really a big difference. At the same time, you do not need the defense that 53 constitution provides. Now, as for improvements I'd make on this build, first of all, I would drop Replenish Chi and Blood. I currently, with a 25 con setup, we have 21,000 HP, and that's completely overkill. If you reset your points and then spec into purely constitution, which is the alternative version of this build, you have 27k life. And replenished sheen blood purely provides HP, it does not provide defenses. As such, I would drop this node, it's 30 achievement points, and as such, you could easily drop it. Now, you can see the advantage of this current build in that we can freely distribute these 10 points we have. If you feel your damage is lacking, spec into more strength. If you feel your survivability is lacking, spec into more constitution. Regarding our weapon setup, it's the usual sword build, which is a Xuan Yuan, an immovable mountain and an imperial seal. Very classic setup, always works especially Xuan Yuan with its 64.3% damage multiplier. Someone may ask why is it not 60% or 72.8%. First of all, all three nodes, Benevolence, Wisdom and Righteousness are multiplicative and due to a coding error, error only stack up to 18%. So it's 18% and you get that modifier three times, so 1.18 to the power of 3, 1.643. Now regarding the starting traits, if I'm smart enough, I'll put up a list of which ones you should go for when starting this character. As like I said, you can drop replenishing chi and blood and then pick something else instead. Regarding the side setup we go for, we go for 6x constitution and 4 times strength. On the cross hill event, we pick a strength node or the strength option and we go for 5 tiger pills. Your martial arts setup looks like the following. You can, if you want to, replace 9 provinces with a different manual. But this is my preferred setup. Your main damaging move is Infinity Sword, followed by Nameless Sword. Illusion Sword and Dragon Sword are also good alternatives. And People's Palm is here to fill up the ranks and to provide some more resistances. Currently I'm running 13 Sutras as my main internal, but you could swap it with Arc Demon with 9 provinces, however you'd like. As for which manuals you obtain, via steel, so via transfer and the homestead or which ones you obtain in-game. You transfer People's Palm, Arc Demon, Soul Eating Skill, Illusion Sword and Dragon Sword. Reason being is Dragon Sword is too annoying to obtain. You either need to spend a lot of achievement points or you need to collect all 12 rings. And I'm not doing that. Illusion Sword can be obtained, however, comes at the cost of 15% of your max HP, and as such, that's not worthwhile doing. People's Palm could theoretically be obtained, but that's a tedious route, so 
just transfer it. And in most cases, people's palm should be your natural fifth um, steel option. Like, I'll never get rid of it. Now, afterward, after you complete the old man quest line, you then join the Taoist sect to obtain both Infinity Sword and Infinity Origin move alongside the. Where is it? Way of Nature trade. And afterwards, you can join the Langya Sword Pavilion to get Nameless Sword, and then your setup is almost complete. You obtain 13 Sutras via the Ice Demon quest. You can transfer 9 provinces, or you can obtain it by killing the old man with arsenic. And that's about it. Regarding ultimates, you can either use you can use anything, to be honest. I would prefer not having any equipped, however that's not possible. Reason why I would prefer not running any ultra, uh, ultimate is they deal way less damage than any of your, move, or any of your moves. Uh, I think on Shifa, 7 Buddha Punishment Word deals 3000 damage and an Infinity Sword deals like 25,000 damage, so... If you're auto battling, it's not really worth having ultimates. Regarding your passive tree setup, I use the bug once more to obtain the last four nodes in Thunder, especially calculated strike, as it's the biggest single damage increase you can get. And 30% crit damage is nice. And the bottom route of fire as usual. All the attack speed nodes in Wind. Then we'll get to the Oddball of Yin later. Uh, the mountain. Like this is more of a defensive build, so we took like, the middle route. Then, as the auto build can make good use of it, we took unmovable. And then, lastly, as we had 10 points left, we took Yin. Now this purely provides some counter chance, as well as when you counter, you reduce the opponent's action speed by 20%. Now using the new building, I think Main House it's called, you can get 19% counter chance, which is not that great, but we'll take what we can get. Alternatively, you could also use something like forest you could use the bug to get the last forest node however a 25 constitution build takes roughly three digit damage from enemies a 35 constitution build even less we'll not even talk about 53 constitution and as such i do not deem damage transfer or just share effects worthy in my peak attempt i lost I think 3 or 4,000 life with this build. So that's 1,200, 1,600 damage dealt total with this node. I think a single count attack will do more than that. But if you find some other nodes that are worthwhile to take, you can easily drop the setup. You could take some more accuracy right here, but we are kind of capped and that's more or less this build like I said drop chi and blood take something else who knows what you could take maybe blind immunity and then figure out whether you want to play with 42 strength or 32 also something interesting I've noticed as you can see, I'm part of the Yanyun army. However, I have Path of Loyalty, which is destroying the Yanyun army. And if you look at my relation tab, they are completely killed. So why am I still part of the Yanyun army when the Yanyun army no longer exists? Who knows? Alright, obligatory. 